All right, Taurus, welcome in. Welcome to mid-September. This is for you. All of these readings are Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this isn't resonating for you, Taurus, Sun sign, check out your Moon, Rising, or Venus reading. So let's see where we go for Taurus. What is happening? What is happening for Taurus? Three, two, one, jump. Absolutely. I am getting um, I, the energy a little bit of, have I missed the train? Have I missed my chance? Um, there's a feeling of that going on. I'm going to look at love, uh, money, and wild card situations that are going on. So one might resonate with you and the other may not, but let's see. All right, let's see where we go. Charlie's right here wanting a biscuit. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, what's happening for love for Taurus? A new opportunity to jump into, perhaps. Six of Swords underneath. Seven of Pentacles, Temperance. I've definitely been seeing that. You might be dealing with a Sag. Okay, uh, Queen of Cups, Magician, there's Gemini, Hanged Man, High Priestess, there's Cancerian Energy, Ten of Cups, beautiful, beautiful. Um, this is about a decision. Um, being You are being offered something, and I feel like you have to really go into your heart to understand if this is going to be right for you. Uh, I feel like there's opportunities o plenty showing up and it's likely that you have finally come out the other side of something okay really moving on from a, a kind of a choppy situation in your life as it relates to love and i think you're manifesting something a lot more um spiritual look at this ten of cups outcome here now the seven of pentacles you're showing up as a seven of pentacles this is this is a moment in time where do I build on what I have, what I already have in my life, or do I go in a new direction? And I think what's coming in for you is this temperance card of a little bit of wait and see. I'm also seeing the hanged man and the high priestess. So like wait and see, there might be some kind of um, information that you need to know, like not don't take too quick of an action. I do feel like you're heading in this direction of Ten of Cups anyway, but I don't think you give your answer now. If you have a new opportunity that shows up right now, uh, at the mid to end of September, I don't think it's time for you to speak or for you to, to say anything, for you to make any kind of decision. Um, what you might want to do is, is spend a little more time um, understanding what it is that you want. And though this is the goal, Ten of Cups is the goal. And how am I going to get there? How, what, what is this situation going to look like? Can I create something positive out of a situation that I've been in already for a long time? Or do I have to move on from it? Okay, I don't think we know that yet. I think there is part of this that, for me, says you do know. OK, you do know uh, that it's going to require you to um, take some kind of action very soon. But I don't really see that you've made that decision yet. All right. So we'll dive into that in the extended. I do see Sag and Gemini and Cancerian. So I'll look at that. Now, let's look at your money. What is the energy of mid to late September about with regards to Taurus money? All right, one more, please. <laughs> With regard to Taurus money, I mean, we do have the North Node in Tor in your sign right now. So this is all about your values. If you are, you're really making choices based on your heart desire, not on a, not necessarily on something super practical. Underneath is the Nine of Swords and Ace of Pentacles showing up. That's pretty good to show up for the um, for the money reading. Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, Strength, Five of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. So I almost feel like there's a new opportunity, and do I want to share it with this person? 
Okay, there's a new opportunity coming in for me. And I think you really need to understand who you're dealing with. If you have a partner or if you're being offered some kind of partnership or some kind of uh, work where it's you and another person, I, I feel that you might um, need more information. And I don't feel like you t entirely trust this other person. I really don't. I think you don't necessarily trust them. It could be a family member or something like that. And this is a beautiful offer that's coming in. But I think the, the worry about it is, is this really what I want? I almost feel like somebody's pushing you to make a decision too quickly. All right. So what about the wild card, please? Temperance. Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups again. Look at that. And Magician again. Isn't that interesting? Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles again. My goodness. So that says to me that, and especially this Two of Cups here, I feel like a lot, this feels like a bigger reading. The love part of this reading feels like the thing that's driving um, more of these other de decisions or concerns. You're not being driven to make a decision on the money piece uh, until you have this in hand. Okay, even though this is being offered to you, a new beginning and everything, I do think you're kind of like, you're waiting and waiting to see how this turns out. And I like the Ten of Cups there. I, I feel like there's a, that's an opportunity. I feel like it's an opportunity for real happiness. And so it's all going to be anchored Usually for Taurus, I mean, this is kind of a stereotype, actually, but, you know, usually for Taurus, the money piece of it is much more of a concern. But this feels light to me, even the Five of Swords here. I feel like it's in your grasp. It's in your charge. And if someone's pushing you to make a decision, I feel like you feel pretty powerful. Like, uh, I don't think you're going to let this person push you around. Okay. But what's going on here is um, my heart. I, I don't know if I'm going to give my heart to this situation yet. All right. So in the extended, I will look at Cancer and Gemini and Sag. If you're dealing with any of those for a love situation, we'll go deeper into the money and the wild card and we'll see where we go. All right, Taurus. Link is below. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.